Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Rosemary. I took a little break, but I'm now back on YouTube again. Today, I decided to jump on the clean look and I have been seeing this all over YouTube and TikTok. And this is the look I've created for my clean look. This is my take on it. This clean makeup look is all about uh, rosy cheeks, you know, blushed up uh, appearance, enhancing your natural beauty with a bit of glow. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this video and do let me know in the comments below if you like my clean uh, makeup look. This is my take on it. And if you are new and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe and comment below. For this look you need a middle parting with a sleek bun but my face doesn't look nice in a bun it makes my face look even rounder if that's a word and you need simple cute earrings now for my base I don't have a complicated base I just use my moisturizer and my eye cream from simple and then I'm gonna go with Smashbox primer now this is my all-time favorite primer I've been using this for about uh, a uh, year or two as in repurchasing this and yeah and it really helps you with your any dry patches and it helps you to stick your uh, base you know your foundation your concealer for a very long time now I'm going to correct any darkness around my face so hyperpigmentation is usually around my mouth a little goes a long way so don't go crazy with this product and I just put it around anywhere that has any hyperpigmentation and I take a brush and dab it onto my skin and slowly uh, spread it uh, to places that has any darkness. Now I'm going to go with my concealer which is also uh, one of my favourite concealers, Matte Fit Me by Maybelline and it's very close to my skin tone and some days, you know, when I'm not bothered, I just put this on, uh, you know, all over my face and just put some pressing powder, uh, setting, not pressing powder, setting powder and then I'm good to go. So right now I'm just placing it uh, where I need it, where I want the highlight to be. Now I'm just blending my concealer away and you guys can see that this is very close to my skin tone. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to blend uh, the concealer that is under my eyes. Now be careful, uh, just use the tapping motion uh, to spread the concealer and diffuse it to the skin and try not to blend the orange concealer with your, uh, with your highlighting concealer. Now it looks like I'm in pain but I'm not, I'm just trying to really focus and take this process very slow so I don't blend the orange and the, the, the concealer. Now I'm onto uh, my airbrush flawless foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. I recently discovered this foundation because I ran out uh, one of my favourite foundations which is the NYX drop liquid foundation and I've been wanting a matte foundation and I think I'm starting to fall in love with this foundation it's such a beautiful match for my skin tone now my skin shade is neutral number 10 if you're interested in purchasing this um, foundation can you see the difference it's amazing it's just it's just it just felt like somebody took uh, the the spot healer and the hyperpigmentation uh, tool and corrected everything on my skin and it looks so nice and it gives that airbrush effect and I love how it sits on my skin it's very lightweight and it doesn't even feel like you're wearing foundation which is amazing and it dries like a powder to give that matte finish so really you don't even need a uh, setting powder unless you are planning to wear this for a very long time then I guess yeah and I'm on to my collection uh, eyebrow kit. Now, if you know me and if you've been following me for a very long time, since day one, I have been using this kit and I keep going back to this again and again. Um, I am blessed with dark uh, eyebrows, but here I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just filling in the gaps and filling in the gaps makes a huge difference. You guys will see in a minute. And sometimes I like to put gel as well to set my eyebrows because sometimes uh, they tend to, you know, move and not stay in place. Now I'm taking the same concealer 
and correcting any hyperpigmentation from my um, eye base, my, my crease and, uh, you know, where you put your eyeshadow. Where do you, what do you call that place? Eye socket? <laughs> um, I don't think it's called the eye socket. Now uh, I'm going to take the setting powder from the contour palette from NYX and I'm going to set that concealer with the powder. Usually I like to have a very clean base, but later on in this video, I decided to make some changes to give some definition. Usually in my everyday makeup routine, I just put some concealer, setting powder, and I'm good to go. Here I thought, you know what, since I'm filming, I'm just going to give some definition to my eye and I'm going to take uh, my contour powder to my crease to give a bit of definition and then I'm taking my another all-time favorite mascara very natural sky high Maybelline mascara I think Maybelline does the best mascaras this mascara only gives you volume it doesn't give you a lot of um, thickness so just apply two to three coats to get your desired length and I really like this this is my everyday mascara I like that little, you know, jet blackness in my lashes. And let me know in the comments below what is your favorite mascara. I think my favorite mascara would be the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. That's my go to if I'm not bothered to wear any fake lashes. And then I would say is the High Sky Mascara from Maybelline. To be honest, I actually like all Maybelline mascaras. Now, here I'm trying to, trying. Uh, to put uh, some mascara under my uh, lower lashes I really really I'm really bad at this honestly I don't like putting uh, mascara on my lower lashes because it just creates so much a mess and um, and it doesn't look that neat so if you have any tips guys do let me know I used to place a little like a card underneath and then apply the mascara so it doesn't go over it but my eyelashes are so short on my bottom lashes. So do let me know. And yeah, that would be really helpful. And I decided to change my mind. And I decided to put some eyeshadow to the bottom. Because I didn't really like how it looked just on its own with mascara. So I went with a mini palette from Huda Beauty. And I took like a... A very light red like a red I wouldn't say red actually I would say more like a burgundy to diffuse that uh, sharpness and then I use the same color to the top of my um, lashes as well and I diffuse that in I think that gave uh, more of a nice definition to my eyes It's just a slight pigment. Don't go overboard. You can't even see it barely on the camera. But, you know, I'm just taking it and giving that um, little glow to my eyes. Then I am doing the same thing uh, and I'm taking that same colour and mixing it with that brown contour colour that I put it on the crease. And you just saw a minute ago, I really liked it. And I felt like it was better than the brown contour. So I really like the combination of the brown and the red. You can't really see. It's a very subtle, subtle application. Now on to my cheeks. Now here is a hack. Now lately I've been seeing that a lot of uh, YouTubers... Uh, makeup influencers has been using cream blushes that love I love 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 my powders and never tried cream so I want to see how it looks before I purchase it so here's a little hack if you don't have cream blushes go with any lip cream now this is a lip cream from uh, NYX and I believe the shade is called uh, San Paolo and I love that look at that rosy cheeks Honestly, it, I just applied it and straight away I took my foundation brush, not a clean brush, foundation brush and I blended that into my skin using the dabbing motion and it looks so pretty. Now to set the uh, cream contour, just go with the setting powder and set it away so you're not blending it with your foundation. 
So I decided to contour my whole face using the cream blusher. Now I'm on to my banana powder from Revolution and I'm setting that cream contour all over my face. Uh, well, not all over my face, anywhere I put the cream, uh, lip cream. And then while that is baking away and I am going to put some concealer under my eyes because I feel like it needs a bit, a bit of more brightness. So I didn't set my eyes yet. So in a minute, I'm just going to take the cream, uh, not the cream, sorry, the concealer, and then I'm going to set it and I'm just blending away. And then I'm setting that cream uh, concealer with some baking powder later on. Now, when I say baking, I don't mean, you know, uh, how we used to bake back in the day. Uh, it's just taking a brush and really, you know, dabbing that product into my skin, taking my time and yeah, so it's not baking, baking. And then I'm going to contour my nose to make my nose uh, look a bit longer. As you guys can see, I have a very tiny nose. So I'm using uh, the same contour color that I placed onto my crease, onto my sides with a fluffy brush and just, you know, blending that away and diffusing it into my skin. And all this hard work is going to be set by my NYX setting spray. This is another uh, favorite of mine. And then give it some time for the liquid to dry up. Now on to Hyper Real, Hyper Real Glow from MAC and I love the gold shine. And like I said, the clean look is all about the rosy cheeks and the glow. So here I am going crazy with my glow and I love gold, uh, gold highlighter, it looks so nice and it complements my skin tone beautifully so if you're someone like me where with a similar skin tone i would definitely recommend you to go and get this palette from mac it's called the uh, uh, real hyper real glow i think i hope i got that name correct now i'm just putting it uh putting the same shine to the tip of my nose and to the bridge of my nose to give that healthy glow to my face and later on I think I'm going to put it onto my lip as well once I'm done with my lipstick. I'm loving the glow already, it's just giving me a natural uh, awakened look and again I'm putting it to my inner corners to give that little sparkle to my eye and then I'm going with a uh, gosh lip liner it's a very nudie color uh, lip liner and I'm lining my lips and then I'm just blending it uh, the liner with my lips and then I'm going with Fenty cream uh, lip gloss and I love this now this lip gloss is not sticky and has a beautiful uh, taste to it and a smell to it as well and look at that it's just enhances the beauty and the natural color of my lip. And this is my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this clean makeup look. Let me know in the comments. And if you're new, remember to subscribe, like, and comment.